everybody. We are back. Okay. So we just did a session on prospecting on the contact level. I want to do a quick one here. This is going to be on the account level. Okay. So what are the differences here? The real answer here is there's not too, too many, but there is one little differentiator that I think is super important. And this is going to be useful for companies or, or agencies that are really starting from almost scratch, right? Like you guys have a good idea as to who you want to be reaching out to, but you don't have a large saved list of, of companies, right? This is going to give you a, like a nice high level generic overview on, hey, how do I grab and bucket the correct accounts in the right place, okay? So first things that we're going to do, and just as a reminder to everybody, we're going to use the example of, of SmartLink, right? So if I'm an SDR and I'm looking at the targets for SmartLink as an account, right? I'm looking for companies that have a global reach. Okay. So a couple ways to go about this. I would probably start with employee count, right? You're not going to be the most global of companies if you have less than, let's just say, and this is obviously rules of thumb, not rules, right? Let's say a thousand, um, let's say a thousand employees, right? And let's say that our account location needs to be in either the U S or Europe, right? And if I wanted to say the industry, let's just say that the industry is going to be something like software, right? Okay. So as of right now, we're not showing any of those. Now, let me show you why, because we still are connected here a bit to the people search. And I wanted to show you guys this. So if you're doing an account search and you still have a people search like active, it's going to copy over that information. So you can see if I come back over to the account search and just kind of start from scratch here, I'm going to look at things like employee account um, and so on and so forth. Right. So basically if I'm trying to find accounts here, um, what I'm looking for, and let me just go ahead and yeah. Okay. So what I'm looking for here on the account side, and let me just make sure this is cleared out for me. Yes, it is. Okay. So on the account side, right. I'm looking for accounts that have employees of 50 to 100. I want the HQ in the U S or in Europe. Uh, I want the industry to be software, right? Let's say the industry is software. And then let's say that the, uh, employee count, since we're doing this for smartling is going to be like 1000 to 10,000 plus. Okay, cool. Now you guys are going to see one record here. Now we all know that there's more than one account in the world that has that. And this is the difference between the net new and the saved. I was searching only within the saved. I was missing the, um, the net new. Okay. So when you're doing the search, if you see a very small number, just check if you're in the saved, uh, side, if not move over to the net new or the total, and it'll give you, uh, kind of the access to what you want to do there. The rest of this, I think is pretty self-explanatory in terms of like what you're selling and where you're selling into. Uh, any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks, everybody.